how long should you be using your ultrasonic on a patient? And honestly, it depends how tenacious their calculus is, how much calculus they have, how much inflammation, how deep their pockets are, et cetera, et cetera. So we can't say, oh, I'm gonna ultrasonic for 10 minutes every patient. Every patient is so different. So one thing you wanna do is make sure you're actually, when you're using it, you're utilizing your time the best you can. I've seen a lot of people just do sweeping strokes. They go kind of fast and they call it good. But if you have a deep deposit, a big deposit, don't be shy to spend some time on it. As long as your tip is in constant motion, you can be in there for a while. So I'm gonna activate on this deposit. I'm gonna go down towards the base of the pocket in a curette style. But see how I was in there for a couple seconds? Nothing really came off. I might have to spend a little bit of extra time in these tenacious deposits to make sure they're being removed. Down to the base of the pocket, down to the base of the pocket. Okay, looks like a lot of it came off. There feel, still feels like there's a little something down there. I might need to get a little bit deeper. I don't think I was going that deep. But again, don't be shy. That took some time and that's okay. As long as your tip is in constant motion, that is the goal.